Qatar says, what are the criteria I should take care of when choosing a good wife? The best answer to that lies in the hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a woman may be married for one of the following qualities, the beauty, the family lineage, the position, and the religious commitment. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam put emphasis and stress on the last trait, and he said that is the most important quality, the religious commitment. He said, which means uh, the woman may be a beauty queen, but she must be religiously committed. She must be well-mannered. May belong to a royal family, no problem. That's perfectly fine. But she also must maintain good manners, chastity, and she has to be religiously committed. So if a person chose a woman for her beauty and she doesn't pray, he's a loser. A person chose a wife because uh, she is a very rich woman or she belonged to this family or whatever and she is not practicing her deen then this is actually the greatest loss in this life because we marry in order to form a family and establish a new offspring and this new offspring in order to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have to have uh, good parents good parents who are religiously committed who know their duties towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they can transmit that to their children and inspire them so if she's not religiously committed then it doesn't matter if she has the three remaining qualities beauty position and position or family lineage if all of that is perfect but she doesn't pray she's not wearing hijab then this option should be excluded whenever we speak about woman choosing a husband also the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam advised saying idha ja'akum man tardawna deenahu wa amanatahu fazawjuhu so he conditioned two things, religious commitment and al-amana. Al-amana refers to al-akhlaq in general. Amana is trustworthiness and uh, truthfulness and honesty. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, with regards to the signs of the Day of Judgment, إِذَا ضُيَّعَتِ الْأَمَانَةُ فَانْتَظِرِ السَّاعَةُ When this quality of al-amana is wasted, then you should expect the Day of Judgment to take place. So making sure that your life mate is religiously committed and a man or a woman of akhlaq, good manners, has the greatest priority.